Hey, Jen, how you doing? So I, yeah, I definitely think that uh, made made like hobo that the the um, offspring of mixing hobo and made like sands is, or I'm sorry, made like slab is an, a really interesting take on the hobo using the hobo as the basic body structure of the typefaces and adding these these slabs from. Uh, made like slabs. It's it's a really interesting concept and one that I think would have been initially I would have looked at this and said, "Wow, this is going to be tough to pull this off." But I think the typeface itself has definitely got a posture, a very unique posture that's able to be utilized in specific situations with extreme success. And those situations I would definitely determine to be uh, a display sort of un, um, casual, very light subject, casual display typeface. Um, something more fun than serious, and I and I think you nailed it. I really do. I think we can definitely see that right here, where made where you have you have made like hobo, um, and showing the different letter forms and showing how these are able to be uh, distributed in a way that adds like this light kind of comical um, t undertone to the actual message itself. So the alphabet looks fantastic. Really good job. Um, I would have liked to have seen the posters have a little bit more of a visual harmony between the two. And right now, I think that your display and your promotional typefaces have a little bit of a visual disconnect, mostly based on your layout choices and your color. Um, the colors themselves, I think you do have a little bit of harmony based on this was a good choice, adding that in, in as pink in there. One thing I definitely want to see. Yeah. Yeah, so good job using the pink in there. Would have liked to have seen a little bit more color added to this just to, to give it a little more of a visual harmony with the, the uh, display poster. All right, fantastic job, John. Thank you for sharing.